Hello, it's Sarah. All right, I had to sh share this with you guys first, okay? I have this idea. I ended up changing a few things, but it's because of composition, right? So when you look at this piece, I have to glue my crown in. Gold, and then I had, I was gonna put this guy on gold too. And I just didn't like it. I didn't like the way it looked. It was too close to this color. So I changed it to the bright uh, fuchsia. Fuchsia, fuchsia, fuchsia. So that's gonna go here. Then I decided I want, I'm too excited, I gotta calm down. Cause I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> Cause I'm in love, I think, <clears throat> I think it's turning out so good. So, <clears throat> so that's gonna go basically here. And I, I'm using this because it fits. It's like, it's just a spacer for right now cause that's not baked to put right here. And then I need to create a tile that's gonna go all the way across with the gold clay, with this color. And I'm gonna put words, so let me move this over. I've kind of decided I'm gonna use hope. Let's put hope over here. Faith, and then the key which says believe. But I wanna texturize the clay and then I'm gonna stamp the words onto the clay with black ink. So this is something I've never done before, but I wanna try it. First thing I need to do though is texturize. So I'm gonna use the same, uh, it's just a script stamp, and I'm gonna script, put some script along this whole piece. Oh no, wait, first, oh first, no, 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 no. See, I'm too excited. I have to measure this, let's see. Okay, five and three quarters. So approximately here to here. I'll go with six for now. So that's around where I want to go with my texturizing. But I want to evenly space these. So I'm going to lay this paper. I've stamped it on the paper and cut it out because I don't want the texture. Now I don't know if this is going to work at all. If I don't push too hard, it might, I might work, it might work out. And then believe. Yeah. All right, so let me try it and hope for the best. <clears throat> um, yeah, I want to use the stamp. I was going to look for a different stamp because it doesn't quite fit. It's not, but I think I'll just center it and go for it. Yeah, it's centered enough. And just gently give some pressure. And we'll see. I don't know if the paper's gonna do anything. But I wanted some texture. So let's see. This is it, the reveal, the big reveal. Actually, I want a texture. I'm gonna put a little bit over here. over here and then the big reveal we remove the paper and see if I can stamp there now with no hey it worked I'm excited now I have to just aim for faith and hope to fit in that little space right so let's say I'm yelling I'm too excited I'm sorry I'm telling you, new things get me so excited when I do something new. So this is hope, and I hope I line it up and it fits in here. Yay! All right, Faith, where's Faith? Faith. And, yes, all right. And then, because see now, I have some texture, but I, I, I tried stamping it on the texture without putting the paper there and it didn't work. So then I center this. Mm, that looks pretty good. Push it down. And then we'll cut it into shape. 
So what did I say? Five and three quarters? Five and three quarters. Oh boy, this is exciting. <laughs> I'm so weird, right? Five and three quarters is right there. Um, that looks pretty good. Because the three is, yeah, so I think we're good. I'm going to use, what, my X-Acto blade and try to do this. I've never done it like this before. Oops. I almost didn't have enough room for the key. Alright, and then if I get the ends where I want them, I can figure out the rest. So let's see. I'm just going to use my straight, my straight edge. Uh, if I start around here, and then we want to go five and three quarters, right? Then I just have to f decide what did I say it was going to be like the same as this one, right? Ooh, it's going to be close. I guess I'll just use the key as my guideline for how wide to make it and just make the key fit. good but it definitely needed the texture and I even kind of wish I could put texture I could put like a um a couple flowers I think I want to put a couple flowers like should I use I'm gonna use this color the medium color and just see I think I want to do it though like the um applique flowers because why not did I use any flowers there's flowers on these and there's butterflies and bugs I'm doing it and when I do the gold leafing I'm going to use a pattern on that too see this has um, a leaf pattern this kind of has a I can't I don't know what kind of pattern that is but I definitely can roll a pattern on that so maybe I'll find a flower one. See, I have all these different things you can put on there. Um, so let me see about putting a, a little applique flower on. I mean, I could put one near the key too, but I think I just want to take up a space right here. Right there. And maybe right over here, just for starters, because I could definitely get carried away. And you just want to take little tiny balls of clay and put them in place, uh, usually about five petals each. And I'll get a little bit of green, so I'm going for this. Something like that, but these are going to be much more delicate. For some reason, I'm in delicate mode because this is tiny. Sometimes I'm not in such a tiny. I just think it's going to look cute. This is super tiny. But let's try it, shall we? I'm going to need a toothpick, my trusty old toothpicks. And one thing that's definitely helpful is to have this tile. I'm going to try to move it. Mm. Well, I can probably maneuver, but you want to be able to turn the piece in order to get the best angle because you want to have the toothpick facing the center of the flower. 
And to do that, I'm gonna have to move this tile, which is super big. It's like a 12 by 12 inch tile. So, a little awkward, but doable. You just move it right to the edge of that center hole that I made and just push, poke your toothpick down in there. And I'll put, I'm gonna use the colors that I have, although I wouldn't mind having a little green leaf there, but I really don't have any green. Um, I'll use gold for my center. No, gold won't show because it's on gold. Uh, white, um, I really wanna use green. I'm just going to use green. Silver? No, I'm going to use green. So I have this green. It's super bright. Um, Alright, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to bake this. And then everything will be ready the next time I come back, for sure. I'm going to be ready to start gluing. So I'll be gluing everything and then the final thing is to create those, I'm gonna create a sheet of clay that I can cut um, pieces of gold foil into to fit specifically, but look how beautiful that's gonna look. Do you see that piece of gold leafing right there? Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.